Oh man, this is brutal for them. Oh, they found my howitzer. Tempo, tempo, tempo. Oh, why did they use base shields? It's just a friendly fight. I was training up my troops. I did put full buffs on. I accidentally activated Bastion of Iron. Let's go. Let's start to pick off this air. Pew, pew, pew. I'm actually going to make a light tank for my fifth unit and replace my Vanguard heli with that so I can put my air back to Vanguard fighter. If they're just gonna retreat or where's the base? Did they what? Did he run away? Oh, he's gone straight for my howitzers. Smart guy. We're in manual control here. Taking out all our howies. One by one. This is brutal for them. Oh, they found my howitzer. Oh no. Oh, did their groups actually just beat ours? Good on them. That's impressive. Felt like I was doing all epic there for a minute. I don't know if they just had more or or what. Because I personally took out fifteen hundred. Just manual control.
Well, we still have all our... Oh, well, that's why. Where's all our groups? Still coming. That's why. Okay, so... Gotta make a spot, bro. rally. Alright, let's kill our planes. Or try. I activate the base. Let's go. That was a fun battle. Decent infantry there. Alright, let's clean up the units. Probably a bad idea. Come on, fast group. We just kind of got to push up. Oh, some of our. I'm going to try and. Base, oops, wrong key. We're going to try and focus on all the howitzers and then auto attack. Oh. Okay, get that helicopter group. That base is active with an air, airplane, it looks like. So we're going to try and just speed up the process of killing all these howitzers. I even have, oh, my infantry died full on. Interesting. It's rare. Bring the jets up. So we're kind of multitasking. Howitzer group and air. That is my play style nowadays. I really feel like this base might be active, but I don't think I have a sponge. I do. There we go. Let's get rid of this base out of the way. Just in my face. I think it's free game now. They should have saved that for when forts opened. That's an interesting choice. I mean, this is just friendly fighting. Like, they're actually our ally. Like, they should have definitely saved that for during the actual conquest. Yeah, our allies are, our teammates are saying the same thing.
I mean, he's got to hit the space. Not hitting it with the howitzer. Bueller, Bueller. Somebody? Anybody? Oh. I... Is the world after the war gonna be so exciting? Did he hit it? Okay, there we go. Like I was gonna say, I can switch to Everbloom and um, Angel real quick. We got two howitzer groups, that's nice. Nice! It's always fun when you have multiple howitzer groups. Oops. Looks like they're gonna try and airlift in from behind. switch real quick. I need my unit to get out of combat. Come on. All right, let's go. Everbloom and Angel. And then we're going to do a very quick swap here of protection from Thorn. Officer skills. Okay, over here. I'm trying to like massively multitask. So while we're walking, Where is my we're going to do, let's see, that's tank HP. Um, probably doesn't matter too much. So let's just throw on infantry damage resist and then some HP. That's fine. There's no one better for this mission than me. Just to try to speed up the process. Get the air down here. Where's my infantry? There we go. So my infantry should do okay. I'm really kind of pissed off that they nerfed infantry though. It's totally unnecessary. Like there does actually need to be a good sponge unit and rocket launchers were a perfect counter to infantry. So you have all these whiny little babies that complain that there's finally a decently balanced unit and then Lilith goes and makes it worse. Absolutely stupid. Now, to be fair, I'm not running my infantry with uh, wrenches right now. Well, level 100 wrenches. I have no modern wrenches. I'm still so shocked that they Use their base shields for a friendly fight. I don't know if they panicked or what. There's my infantry going. It's very crowded. 295. Almost everybody's got rockets now. The frack is bomb in the howitzers. 
this dude. This dude is definitely causing some ruckus. All right, I need a sponge. Um, there's one. I can get there. Oh, they're already attacking. That's cool. So yeah, we have pretty decent activity. This is actually European time zone mostly. Or at least in the evening, I guess. I hope they don't use slow burn. That would be... That would be bad. So let's see, base shields recovers what? Is that every seven days? What's the cooldown? Five days. Um, so they probably actually have plenty of time before forts open then. Did they move the the delete button? Keep deleting tags. There you guys have it. That was a nice, friendly fight with our partners. Pretty cool that we can do that. Oh, looks like we got some jumpers. Nice. But yeah, it's just a lot of back and forth because our time zones are polar opposite. But we did get a really good fight out of it, so that was fun. Where's that one report? I should probably do a separate video on Stinger, but just con manually controlling my two units in the field, 1500. And you can see like the way I have Argent and Antonina set up, pretty also equatable, 695. Much more actual howitzer damage compared to Liberty and Stinger. So it's kind of offset. There's a little bit less officer skill damage, but more unit damage. Now I have more firepower skills on my Houser, where I have more officer skill damage on this one up here. And so that kind of makes sense. That's versus 20 players. So I think this will be a good matchup. Uh, once we actually throw treaties on and enter through the forts, they're going to be a really good partner with us uh, because they will basically completely cover our off time and we will completely cover their off time. And that's a perfect partnership in Theater of Conquest.
Yeah. And actually, what we're saying is um, some of the players, I think, who is it? Um, Hyde, who is the deputy leader of... Oh, why am I looking at the Raven bases for crying out loud? So we've actually played against uh, the alliance that Hyde was in before. It was called GRC. That was also in San Francisco, actually. Um, so I don't know if they're the original alliance or if Hyde and some of those players... Um, have actually just joined into a different alliance, but we played against some of the players before. Uh, names are familiar. So, but it's pretty cool to have a partner where our time zones are opposite. I think that's really awesome. So, look, really looking forward to this conquest. But anyway, guys, that was our friendly fight with our partners. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, reminder that live streams will be, I think, on YouTube on the weekends, uh, Saturday or Sunday, sometime around server reset. Also, we'll be live streaming on Twitch. Uh, other games, primarily Battlefield 2042, uh, when it's released, Broken Arrow. I did try Call of Duty, ended up having to, the, I couldn't even get the game to work, so just gonna uninstall that. Not even gonna buy it. Uh, the, the free aspects of it couldn't, didn't work. Um, and uh, anyway, hopefully this will be a good conquest, so we'll see you guys next time.